हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द लास्ट क्लास लास्ट क्लास आई वाज डिस्कसिंग मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ वंडर वॉल्स इक्वेशन इन स्पेशल केसेस अंडर स्टेट ऑफ मैटर पार्ट वन गैसेस स्टेट एक्चुअली चैप्टर आई एम रिव्यूइंग दैट इज गैसियस स्टेट पार्ट वन नाउ आई विल कंटिन्यू विद एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन फर्स्ट टर्म आई विल डिस्कस कॉलिजन फ्रीक्वेंसी वॉट इज कॉलिजन फ्रीक्वेंसी नाउ आई एम टेलिंग यू द नंबर ऑफ कॉलिजन्स विच टेक प्लेस इन वन सेकेंड एमाउंग द मोलकुल्स प्रजेंट इन वन सी सी और वन क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर ऑफ द गैस इज कॉल्ड कॉलिजन फ्रिक्वेंसी इट इज डिनोटेड बाई कैपिटल जेड अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू वॉट इज द कॉलिजन फ्रिक्वेंसी द नंबर ऑफ कॉलिजन विच टेक्स प्लेस इन वन सेकेंड Among the molecules present in one cubic centimeter of the gas, is called collision frequency. It is denoted by Z. You should know that gaseous molecules in the container, they will collide. They will collide itself or among themselves. Then collision frequency is the number of collisions. which takes place in one second among the molecules present in one cubic centimeter also called one cc of the gas that is called collision frequency it is denoted by capital z now what is the collision number collision number the number of collisions विच ए सिंगल मोलकूल अंडर गोज विथ अदर मोलकूल्स इन वन सेकेंड इज कॉल्ड कॉलिजन नंबर इट इज डिनेट इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई कैपिटल एन स्मॉल सी एन सी डाउन सी स्मॉल सी हेयर सी मीन्स कॉलिजन एन मीन्स नंबर कैपिटल एन सी अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू कॉलिजन नंबर the number of collisions which a single molecule undergoes single molecule undergoes with other molecules in one second is called collision number don't confuse with collision frequency collision frequency is the number of collisions which takes place in one second among the molecules present in वन सी सी ऑफ द गैस वन सी सी दैट इज द डिफरेंस करेक्ट हेयर वन सी सी इज नॉट देयर इन कॉलेज अ नंबर बट देयर इन वन सी सी नंबर ऑफ कॉलेज विच टेक्स प्लेस इन वन सेकेंड एमोंग द मोलकुल्स इन वन सी सी दैट इज कॉल्ड कॉलेज एंड फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई जेड एंड कॉलेज एंड नंबर This is the number of collisions which a single molecules undergo with other molecules in one second. Here, no one cc. This is the difference. Simple collisions. The number of collisions which a single molecule undergo with other molecules in one second is called collision number. It is represented by capital N, a small c, n c. C you can write down N C. Now what is the expression for collision frequency and uh, collision number? This question is asked. Expression for N C and Z. N C means collision number. Z means collision frequency. What are their expression? Then now I am telling you expression. N C. means collision number is equal to under root 
पाई एस वेलोसिटी मीन्स भी सिग्मा स्क्वायर स्मॉल एन एन सी इजकल टू अंडर रूट पाई भी सिग्मा स्क्वायर एन स्मॉल एन वेयर वी इजकल टू एवरेज वेलोसिटी सिग्मा इजकल टू मोलकुलर डायमीटर एंड एन इजकल टू नंबर ऑफ मोलकुल्स पर सी सी ऑफ द गैस एन इज का स्मॉल एन इज कल टू नंबर ऑफ मोलकुल्स ऑफ द गैस पर सी सी नंबर ऑफ मोलकुल्स पर सी सी ऑफ द गैस कॉलिजन एमोंग ऑल द एन मोलकुल्स वाट विल द कॉलिजन्स कॉलिजन्स एमोंग ऑल द एन मोलकुल्स स्मॉल एन मोलकुल्स दैट इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल एन कैपिटल एन सी इंटू एन कैपिटल एन सी इंटू एन हेयर एन सी इज कल टू वाट एन सी इज कल टू कॉलिजन नंबर कॉलिजन नंबर इंटू एन दैट इज कल टू कॉलिजन एमोंग ऑल द एन मोलकुल्स करेक्ट कॉलिजन एमोंग ऑल द मोलकुल्स दैट इज कल टू एन सी इंटू स्मॉल एन ओके वेयर स्मॉल एन इज कल टू नंबर ऑफ मोलकुल्स पर सी सी ऑफ द गैस नाउ जेड आई एम टॉकिंग वाउट वॉट इज द जेड जेड मीन्स कॉलिजन फ्रीक्वेंसी देन एज इच कॉलिजन इन्वॉल्व टू मोलकुल्स फॉर कॉलिजन इट रिक्वायर्स टू मोलकुल्स एज इच कॉलिजन इन्वॉल्व टू मोलकुल्स एंड जेड इज कल टू एन सी इंटू एन डिवाइडेड बाई टू करेक्ट वाई बिकॉज इच कॉलिजन इन्वॉल्व टू मोलकुल्स एंड से जेड इज कल टू एन सी इंटू एन डिवाइडेड बाई टू करेक्ट हेयर एन सी इंटू एन दैट इज द कॉलिजन एमोंग All the n molecules just to divide it by टू then that will be what z that will be z then z is equal to what z is equal to collision frequency then now z is equal to uh, one more relation is there that is वन upon root टू वन upon root टू pi b sigma square एन स्क्वायर ऑलरेडी आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इट दैट इज द एन सी नाउ इज सिंपली यू हैव हाउ यू हाउ डिड यू गेट दिस वैल्यू देन सिंपली बाई पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एन सी एन सी वैल्यू वॉज अंडर रूट टू पाई भी सिग्मा स्क्वायर एन एंड ऑलरेडी वन मोर एन वॉज देयर एन सी इन टू एन देन नाउ एन बिकम एन स्क्वायर ऑल थिंग इज एज इट इज रूट टू पाई बी सिग्मा स्क्वायर एन स्क्वायर करेक्ट एंड अंडर रूट वॉज अप साइड एंड डिवाइडेड बाई टू देन टू यू कैन राइट रूट टू इंटू रूट टू वन देन अप साइड वन रूट टू एंड डाउन वन रूट टू विल कैंसल देन डाउन वन रूट टू विल रिमेन हेन्स जेड इज कल टू वन अपॉन रूट टू पाई भी सिग्मा स्क्वायर एन स्क्वायर नाउ Uh, here that uh, one more uh, change you are doing velocity value you put v is equal to v actually v is the average velocity then what is the expression for average velocity already i have discussed average velocity is equal to average velocity v is equal to under root 8 rt pi m correct actually rt upon m under root rt upon m is common in all three in all three velocity most probable correct average and root mean rt up under root rt upon m is common then in in average 8 upon pi is extra 8 upon pi is multiplied by rt upon m that is in average and uh, Two, if you will write R T M is I told you R T upon M is common in all three. 
then if it is a 2RT, then it is most probable. And when you are writing 3RT, then it is RMS, root mean square velocity. Then here average velocity under root 8RT upon pi m. That value you put in this expression. Then z value you will get z is equal to after putting the value of under root 8R2 pi m for b, then you will get 2 sigma square n square under root pi R T upon m. One more time, I am telling you after putting the value of b, you will get 2 sigma square n square under root pi R T upon m. Actually, this these relations are very very important while solving the numerical that time directly you can solve it will save your time okay and other things uh, with increase in temperature v increases you remember velocity is directly proportional with temperature that you know uh, with uh, increase in temperature, B increases, and with increase in pressure, N increases. Normal N number of molecules increases. Okay, with with increase in pressure. Again, you listen. With increase in temperature, B increases, and with increase in pressure, a small N increases. A small N. So in both cases. Z increases. Question is asked. In both cases, when you will increase the temperature and pressure, both, then in both cases, Z increases. What I am dis discussing now here, that is the additional information. Now, next term I am using you, logarithmic plots for Boyle's law and Charles law. Logarithmic plots. This question is also asked. These plots are asked Boyle's law and Charles law. Then according to Boyle's law, Pb is equal to constant at constant temperature. You know. According to Boyle's law, Pb is equal to constant at constant temperature. Then now this you can write Pb log P plus log B. If you will take a log both side if you take log both side then you will come log pb means log p plus log b that is equal to that is equal to constant that is equal to constant then you can also write log p is equal to minus log b plus constant you can write you take minus log b to the right side then plus log b will become minus log b plus constant. Hence the plot of log p versus log v at constant temperature uh, is shown in the diagram. If you will see the diagram, you can understand. Okay, log p versus log v. It's a diagram you can see. Okay, uh, two two you can say plots are there log p versus log v and second plot is log v versus log t okay log p versus log t in both cases you will get a straight line then you can see both both diagram you can see then second diagram what i told you log v versus log t that is called charles law then charles law you know charles law you know that is the uh, v upon t is equal to constant at constant pressure this is the mathematical we can say depression v is directly proportional to t means if you will increase if you will uh, heat the gas then volume will increase Correct? V is directly proportional to T. Means V up, upon T is equal to constant, at constant pressure. 
this is a mathematical div uh, you can say definition then this also you can write you will take log both side then you will get log b upon t that you can write log b minus log t that is equal to constant log b upon t means what log b minus log t that is equal to constant then now again same way log b is equal to log t plus constant plus constant because minus log t was there that you have taken right side minus became plus log t plus constant but in case of uh, boyle's law log p plus log b was there then plus log b was taken to the right side that became minus log b plus constant okay then now here second graph what i told you that is for log b versus log t hence plot of log b versus log t i have shown you in the diagram you can see in the diagram now next term i am next term i am discussing now that is the emergence of law of partial volume emergence a m a g a t s emergence law of partial volume what is this law then emergence law of partial volume this law is similar to dalton's law of partial pressure we should not confuse with dalton's law of partial pressure this law is a similar to dalton's law of partial pressure according to this law means emergence law the total volume of a mixture of non reacting gases is the sum of their partial volumes where partial volume of a gas is the volume occupied by that gas at the same temperature and pressure of the mixture okay in uh, dalton's law you are talking about the pressure partial pressure here you are talking about the volume that is the difference dalton's law of partial pressure that is related to pressure of the individual gas and total gas here same way you are talking about volume and total volume individual volume and total volume you are considering then total again i am telling you emergence law of partial volume the total volume of a mixture of a non reacting gases is the sum of their partial volume where where partial volume of a gas is the volume occupied by that gas at the same temperature and pressure of the mixture mathematically you can write total volume vt that is equal to a small v1 plus a small v2 plus a small v3 plus a small v4 dot 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 okay then i have discussed now about emergence law of partial volume now i am discussing average molecular weight of a gaseous mixture this is also important relation average molecular weight of gaseous mixture capital m and down you write m i x means mixture capital m and down m i small m i x mixture then uh, this uh, average molecular weight of gaseous mixture then m mixture is equal to sigma n i capital m i divided by sigma n i sigma sin okay summation sin you can tell summation summation of n i m i divided by summation of n i where n i is the number of moles of m uh, this uh, n i n i is the number of moles and m i then m i is the molecular weight of the component i here i is denoting about component correct many gas may be there any any number of gas gas may have many you can say molecules 
if you want to know about any particular correct any particular that time component term you will use i then m i is the molecular weight of the component i hence uh, this uh, average molecular weight of the gaseous mixture capital m m i x mix that is equal to summation of n i m i divided by summation of n i now i am discussing effect of pressure on the rate of diffusion effect of pressure on the rate of diffusion now i am telling you if the gases diffuse diffuse out at the same temperature but different pressure different pressure same temperature but different pressure then as greater the pressure greater is the number of molecules heating per unit area you remember when pressure will be increase then collision will be more number of molecules heating per unit area will increase that will be also greater again i am telling you if the gases diffuses diffuses out at the same temperature but different pressure but different pressures then as greater as greater the pressure greater is the number of molecules heating per unit area correct greater is the rate of diffusion remember okay if the pressure is greater then greater is the number of molecules heating per unit area and uh, it greater is the rate of diffusion as a result uh, greater is the rate of diffusion in such cases gram's law of diffusion can be written as r1 upon r2 that is equal to p1 upon p2 into under root d2 upon d1 correct and uh, that is equal to p1 upon p2 under root m2 upon m1 means uh, for the density you can write uh, d2 upon d1 under root that you can write under root in the place of d2 upon d1 d1 you can write m2 upon m1 correct you know density is equal to mass by volume mass by volume hence in the place of uh, uh, density you can write mass also for the d2 you can write m2 for d1 you can write m1 correct then here now you got the relation r1 upon r2 rate of diffusion r1 upon r2 that is equal to p1 upon p2 under root d2 upon d1 or you can write r1 upon r2 is equal to p1 upon p2 under root m2 upon m1 both relation can be used while solving the numericals okay question is asked on this formula now next question a uh, next term i am talking about mean free path <coughs> mean free path what is mean free path it is the mean distance traveled by a molecule between any two successive collisions again i am telling you it is the mean distance traveled by a molecules between any two successive collisions correct you know gases molecules will collide among themselves then if suppose one molecule is colliding with other molecule then what distance he has it has covered it is talking about it is a, a related to that okay that is called actually mean free path then mean free mean free path is the distance traveled by a molecule between any two successive collision and uh, what is the formula then mean free path a small l that is equal to b divided by nc divided by nc b is the velocity nc is number of 
collision correct then now you put the value of both both b and nc then you will get uh, b upon nc that is equal to 1 upon under root 2 pi sigma square n this you remember okay mean free path small l is equal to b upon nc and you put value of both b and nc then you will get 1 upon under root pi sigma square n means directly you can write l is equal to 1 upon under root pi sigma square n this is very very important relation further for n moles of an ideal gas you know pv is equal to nrt correct pv is equal to nrt or number of moles per unit volume how much then very easy n upon v that is equal to p upon rt that easily you can know for n moles of an ideal gas pv is equal to nrt then what is the value for n upon v n upon v means per unit uh, num number of moles of per unit volume n upon v means what you are dividing by v per unit volume what is the number that is n upon v that is equal to p upon rt easily by cross multiplication you will get because pp is equal to nrt then n divided by p is equal to what p upon rt and one more uh, on this related to this number of molecules per unit volume number of molecules per unit volume then very moles you are knowing then molecules easily you can know by multiplying it by Avogadro number you can multiply by A A means Avogadro number then you will get number of molecules per unit volume and N upon B is the number of moles per unit volume then if you mole you are knowing then molecule you can easily you can calculate by multiplying it with Avogadro number Avogadro number you are represented in two terms A0 or N0 capital N0 then anyway you can multiply the number of molecules per unit volume is equal to just uh, uh, same things are there P into N0 divided by RT okay that is the number of moles a small n you have calculated the number of a formula you remember the number of molecules per unit volume is equal to just uh, p in that you multiply by n0 Avogadro number divided by rt because per mole you have calculated p by rt then for Avogadro number just simply multiply by Avogadro number n0 substituting this value in place of a small n in the equation for mean free path what you will get actually you have used that term a small n mean free path is equal to mean free path is equal to 1 upon under root 2 pi sigma square n now you put the value of n now you calculated n is equal to p into n0 divided by rt that value you can put n is down hence rt will go up and p n0 will p n0 will be down hence you will get uh, mean free path that is equal to 1 upon root pi sigma square into rt into rt upon p n 0 or you can write only rt is upside p n 0 is down thus uh, l means l means here mean free path is directly proportional to temperature and inversely proportional to pressure question is asked okay by seeing the relation you can tell that l means mean free path is directly proportional to temperature rt upside is rt r is constant you know then directly proportional to t and pressure is p uh, down pressure is down p and zero then inversely proportional to pressure 
question is asked theoretical question also and uh, this uh, numericals also uh, this relation will be used now i am discussing jol thomson effect what is the jol thomson effect now i am telling you question is asked actually all are very very important whatever relation i am discussing terms all are important jol thomson effect when a real gas is allowed to expand adiabatically through a porous plug or a fine hole into a region of low pressure it is accompanied by cooling it will produce cooling except for hydrogen and helium which get warm question is asked hydrogen in case of hydrogen and helium case will be reverse it will warm okay it will not cool other gases will cool exception is hydrogen and helium question is asked again i am repeating joule thomson effect when a real gas when a real gas is allowed to expand adiabatically through a porous plug or a fine hole into a region of low pressure it is accompanied by cooling except for hydrogen and helium which get warmed up cooling takes place because some work is done to overcome the intermolecular forces of attraction why it is becoming cool i am telling reason cooling takes place why gases turn uh, becomes cool correct that what is the uh, reason now i am telling you cooling takes place because some work is done to overcome the intermolecular forces of attraction as a result the internal energy decreases and so does the temperature temperature also decreases ideal gases do not show any cooling or heating because there are no intermolecular forces of attraction that is they do not show jol thomson effect this question is important it will apply only for real gases jol jol thomson effect will apply for real gases and for uh, ideal gases ideal gases do not show any cooling or heating because there is no intermolecular forces of attraction that is they do not show jol thomson effect during jol thomson effect during jol thomson effect enthalpy of the system remains constant this question is asked during jol thomson effect enthalpy of the system remains constant now next i am discussing jol thomson coefficient jol thomson coefficient mu it is it is denoted by mu mu is equal to what del t upon del del p del t upon del p at constant h means enthalpy that is called jol thomson coefficient question is asked what is jol thomson coefficient then jol thomson coefficient which is represented by mu mu that is equal to delta t upon delta p at constant h means enthalpy for cooling for cooling mu is equal to positive because dt and dp will be negative you remember mu for for cooling for cooling mu is equal to positive you remember this question is also asked condition for cooling mu is equal to positive what is the mu that is a joule thomson coefficient and why it is positive 
बिकॉज डी टी एंड डी पी विल बी नेगेटिव ओके फॉर हीटिंग म्यू विल बी नेगेटिव बिकॉज डी टी विल बी पॉजिटिव एंड डी पी विल बी नेगेटिव फॉर नो हीटिंग और कूलिंग म्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज डी टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो डी टी मीन्स चेंज इन टेम्परेचर इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैन थ्री क्वेश्चन इज आस्ड म्यू वैल्यू इफ म्यू इज पॉजिटिव देन वाट विल हैपन इफ म्यू इज नेगेटिव देन वाट विल हैपन इफ म्यू इज जीरो देन वाट विल हैपन एंड वाई डज इट हैपन देन अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू फॉर कूलिंग म्यू इज इक्वल टू पॉजिटिव बिकॉज डी टी एंड डी पी विल बी नेगेटिव एंड फॉर हीटिंग म्यू इज नेगेटिव बिकॉज डेल्टा टी इज इक्वल टू पॉजिटिव एंड डी पी इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव फॉर नो हीटिंग और कूलिंग म्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज डी टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो वाट इज इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर इट इज द टेम्परेचर एट विच गैस शोज नाइदर कूलिंग नॉर हीटिंग अफेक्ट यू रिमेंबर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो आज इन बोथ इन फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री एज वेल एज इन फिजिक्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्ड इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर वाट इज इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर देन इट इज द टेम्परेचर इट विच गैस शोज नाइदर कूलिंग अफेक्ट नॉर हीटिंग अफेक्ट दैट इज जूल थॉमसन कॉप्सेंट म्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो बिलो दिस टेम्परेचर इट शोज कूलिंग अफेक्ट एंड एव दिस टेम्परेचर इट शोज हीटिंग अफेक्ट यू रिमेंबर म्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके यू नो जॉल थॉमसन अफेक्ट ए जॉल थॉमसन कॉप्सेंट म्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो बिलो दिस टेम्परेचर इट शोज कूलिंग अफेक्ट एंड एव दिस टेम्परेचर इट शोज हीटिंग अफेक्ट एनी गैस लाइक एच टू हीलियम एट्सेट्रा हुज इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर इज लो वुड शो हीटिंग अफेक्ट एट रूम टेम्परेचर क्वेश्चन इज आज एनी गैस लाइक हाइड्रोजन एंड हीलियम हुज इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर इज लो वुड शो हीटिंग अफेक्ट एट रूम टेम्परेचर हाइवर इफ दीज गैसेज आर जस्ट कूल्ड बिलो द इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर एंड देन सब्जेक्टेड टू जूल थॉमसन अफेक्ट दे विल ऑल्सो अंडर गो कूलिंग ओके हेयर इज यू हैव टू जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट इफ दीज गैसेज बोथ गैसेज आर अनदर एनी गैसेज लाइक एस टू एंड एंड हिलियम इफ दीज गैसेज आर जस्ट कूल्ड बिलो इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर बिलो इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर एंड देन सब्जेक्टेड टू जूल थॉमसन अफेक्ट दे विल ऑल्सो अंडर गो कूलिंग ओके एंड दिस इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर इफ इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर इज लो एनी गैस लाइक एस टू एंड हिलियम हुज इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर इज लो वुड शो हीटिंग हीटिंग अफेक्ट एट रूम टेम्परेचर दैट दैट यू रिमेंबर एट रूम टेम्परेचर हीटिंग अफेक्ट बट बिलो इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर बिलो इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर यू रिमेंबर इट विल ऑल्सो शो कूलिंग अफेक्ट इफ दिस गैसेज आर जस्ट कूल्ड बिलो इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर एंड देन सब्जेक्टेड टू द जूल थॉमसन एंड दिस थिंग वेन दिस गैसेज आर जस्ट कूल्ड बिलो इनवर्सन टेम्परेचर एंड देन सब्जेक्टेड टू जूल थॉमसन अफेक्ट दे विल ऑल्सो गो अंडर अंडर गो कूलिंग यू रिमेंबर जस्ट लाइक रियल गैसेज दिज अ कंडीशन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड नाउ नेक्स्ट टर्म आई एम डिस्कसिंग लिक्विफैक्शन ऑफ गैसेज एंड क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर A gas can be liquefied by cooling, or by application of pressure, or by the combined effect of both. Liquefaction of gases and critical temperature. I am discussing. 
ए गैस कैन बी लिक्विफाइड बाय कूलिंग और बाय एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रेशर और बाय द कंबाइंड इफेक्ट ऑफ बोथ हाईवर फॉर एवरी गैस देयर इज ए पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर एव विच ए गैस कैन नॉट बी लिक्विफाइड हाउस हाउ सो एवर हाई प्रेशर बी मे अप्लाई ऑन द गैस दिस इज द कंडीशन अगेन आई एम टेलिंग हाउ एवर फॉर एनी गैस देर इज ए पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर फॉर इज गैस देर इज ए पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर एब विच ए गैस कैन नॉट बी लिक्विफाइड हाउ सो एवर हाई प्रेशर बी मे अप्लाई ऑन द गैस दिस इज कॉल्ड क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर दिस टेम्परेचर इज कॉल्ड क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर ऑफ दैट गैस के द कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम आर कॉल्ड क्रिटिकल प्रेशर एंड क्रिटिकल वॉल्यूम के एट एट क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर वाट इज द प्रेशर एंड वाट इज द प्रेशर ए वॉल्यूम दैट इज कॉल्ड क्रिटिकल प्रेशर एंड क्रिटिकल वॉल्यूम ओके नाउ वन मोर पॉइंट आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस दैट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन लिक्विफैक्शन ऑफ गैसेज and wonder walls constant a a small a this question is also important actually uh, in solving the numericals this will be used up this concept will be used up relationship between liquefaction of gases and wonder walls constant a a small a wonder walls constant a is directly related to intermolecular forces of attraction you know this thing sir greater the value of a greater are the intermolecular forces of attraction hence more easily the gas can be liquefied for example the eg of liquefaction of few gases are in the order of okay value of a i am uh, telling you now see uh, i that uh, for few gases i will tell in bracket a value is given a small a that is the wonder walls constant then helium its a value is 0.034 and hydrogen its uh, a value is 0.244 that is more then helium is less than hydrogen okay that is the liquefaction of gases i am talking about for few gases in the order then helium is liquefaction i am telling you helium is less less than h2 because liquefaction of helium will be less than h2 because helium is it's a, a small a value is 0.034 and hydrogen is little more 0.244 if you compare hydrogen and oxygen then hydrogen is less than oxygen because oxygen value is 1.36 more than hydrogen if you compare with nitrogen then nitrogen value is little more than oxygen then oxygen will be less than n2 correct helium is liquefaction i am talking about helium is less than h2 h2 is less than o2 and o2 is less than n2 because now a small a value for n2 is more than oxygen now if you compare with carbon dioxide nitrogen then that is the n2 is less than co2 co2 is value is high 3.59 and nitrogen is 1.39 correct then obviously n2 will be very 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 n2 will be concentration will be less than CO two, okay. Uh, CO two value is three point five nine more, and if you compare CO two and HCl, then HCl value a value is three point eight, three point eight. It is more than CO two. Then CO two is less than HCl. And if you compare HCl and NH three, then NH three is high value, a value four point one seven means more attraction. 
देन एस सी एल बिल इज लेस ओनली थ्री पॉइंट एट देन एस सी एल इज लेस देन एन एस थ्री मीन्स एन एस थ्री बिल बी लिक्विफाइड इजली देन एच सी एल लेस द ए वैल्यू देन इट विल लिक्विफाई लेस ओके एंड इफ विल कंपेयर एन एस थ्री एंड एस ओ टू देन एन एस थ्री इज लेस देन एस ओ टू एस ओ टू ए स्मॉल ए वैल्यू इज सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन वन मीन्स एट मोलकुलर एट्रैक्शन इज मोर इन एस ओ टू दैट्स वाई एस ओ टू विल लिक्विफाई वेरी इजिली देन एन एस थ्री ओके एन एस थ्री इज लेस देन एस ओ टू एस ओ टू विल लिक्विफाई वेरी फास्ट टूडे आई एम स्टॉपिंग ओनली हेयर नेक्स्ट क्लास अगेन आई विल कंटिन्यू Thank you